All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode number two of my La Mateo Be a Legend mode. Fulham here playing against Rothram. Mr. La Mateo there playing on the right midfield in this match here. Just about entering the fifth minute. Nice little hookup play here. Look at that through ball. Beautiful little touch. What a nice little turn. Trying to find Mateo again. Unfortunately, could not be found. Going right into the attack. Yeah, Mateo asked for it. Nice little header over to Chris Martin. Martin gets tackled, but Mateo. Mr. Fox in the box. How about that? His first goal of the series. First goal of the season. La Mateo, the captain. That is exactly what we want to see. Guys, I've been meaning to uh, get this episode out. You know, I've got a couple other episodes, a couple other uh, video clips that are just ready to be edited. So, I'm having a blast right now with uh, Become a Legend mode, um, and you know, it's feeling like I'm getting back into the groove of things. So, really excited. We'll be getting some more updates, of course. Um, so, let's get back into the match. Yeah, it's been a back and forth type of match, Mateo here. Yeah, running at them here in the 35th minute, the and kick. what a nasty little challenge that is. They called him a speedster. I don't think they people. know. Mateo may have been a speedster back in the day, but now at 35, he's just a little bit slower, but still enough for people to pay attention to. Free kick here just a little bit after halftime. Trying to find that upper 90 and nope, nope, not a, not a very good free kick. Got to work on those because Mateo is the captain. He was, he is going to be the one to take those free kicks. But having a blast here with Pest 17. Look at the shot, little turn on a weaker left foot, but still a good effort. Going into the 71st minute, like I said, it was uh, you know a tight affair. And speaking of which, that's another foul. Just was that kind of match, you know, with 17 especially, you're not going to get these wide open matches. Um, I've noticed that here because in previous pass, yeah, there may be a little bit more chances, but you're playing a little free kick duty. Good little cross. Good shot, good attempt. But yeah, as I was saying, with Pass 17, it's just a lot more realistic in terms of become a legend. You can't just run at players anymore. Thankfully, we were able to run away with the victory here only by a goal thanks to the captain, Mr. La Mateo himself. Look at that rating there, 7.0. That is the way we do it. Excellent match. Running all over the place, as you can see. Passes, making connections there. Only three shots, like I said. Not as wide open. I've noticed the AI, the computer basically, they are definitely right on you. And we look here, outside of the match there, selected for US men's national team. I haven't really documented that as much uh, throughout Mateo's career. Mainly switching, you know, PES versions, PES games, etc. So, preferred version, we're going to change this. We're playing on the right midfield here, so the manager put us there. Now we're going to actually ask to... Um, you know, I'm going to see if I can get a different position here for Mateo. Try to get, you know, either attacking midfielder or somewhere in the striker area. You know, he's a striker, and uh, but I also want to get a, a shot here. So in this next match here, he's given his chance actually to be an attacking midfielder. But here away to Loftus Road. Mr. Icy Reaper 31 is probably loving this one. But here, a good little ball over to La Mateo. Look at that tackle. Cherry there taking him out. Like I said, they're going to have their attention on Mateo here. That she really should have been a yellow early on, but Ruff is just going to talk to him. Third minute in, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to show a lot of, a couple of the fouls actually here. Look at these fouls. Vicious by QPR. Look at that. Another late one. Look at that. Poulter now this time. He gets a straight yellow. Just give it to him. No need to talk to him. Look at this replay again. Sigurdsson. Oh. He tried to stay up, but unfortunately, <laughs> he's a big guy. So, 13th minute. Mateo trying to hook up here with that, uh, Cabano. And Cabano turning the other way and gets taken out. 
again. QBR dirty. Figures that's the type of team that Reaper would use, right? Just kidding. Just spot in the 20th minute. Matteo just being like, going to be a little bit dirty himself. Not really. That was actually a beautiful tackle, but Chris Martin couldn't do anything with it. Taylor here playing a different role than usual. That attacking midfield is definitely a different one. So trying to hook up quickly and made a bad, bad decision there to try to cut off the pass. And of course, referee has to kind of keep it consistent. So Mateo gets a yellow card. Like I said, he's a fiery player. I'm not going to lie. He really took him out, though. Mr. Perch there. Here, 40th minute. Mateo asks for it. Gets dispossessed by Sandro. And Bolter finds Sherry. Sherry slides in and scores. That's really unfortunate there for Mateo, as he was the sole reason of why that happened. He asked for the ball in a tough position. Tried to take a touch in the worst of places there. You can see Sandro was on him immediately. Sherry controlled it, managed to just get his little legs stretched out and beat the keeper. 53rd minute in here, more of the same in QPR. Look at that, another just terribly timed sliding tackle. This time, I believe that's on, yeah, Dennis Adoy. Here, Mateo has it this time. And look at that little Sandro trying to do the same thing. This time just taking out Mateo. And of course, no card for Sandro this time. It wasn't as bad. They're really making their presence known, UPR. And, and they were very successful in this match. So, But we have to show the replay since it's, a, it's a against Mateo. But look here. Just stumbling, trying to keep his uh, balance. Unlucky though. Here, look at this. Oh, man. Defense in shambles. Home side there. Adds on to their lead. Poulter, beautiful. Glancing header to the far post. We look at the replay here. What a ball that is. And look at this cross. As Sandro's making that near post run. Glancing header, like I said. Beautiful. Mateo gets in front here. I believe that was Luongo. And now just running at the defense, trying to pick a, pick a choice here. And he goes, nice little ball. First time back to Mateo. What a ball that was. And Mateo, again, not sharp enough, I'd say, playing that attacking midfield role. But that was more along where he likes to be. Couldn't pull the trigger. And here, cutting inside. Beautiful run here. Surely a penalty. Nita Manuaha just completely took out La Mateo. But there was no penalty called. Unfortunately, 92nd minute. Mateo trying to make something happen here. Look at that little turn. Nice little move there. Tackled, and the advantage was called. And Mateo is just not going to get up at the moment. You can see here he's getting old, man. You gotta, you know, gotta take it easy sometimes on him. Or you know, he's kind of got glass shins. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, couldn't make anything happen. But look again, no foul called in this one either. It's like the ref got worse. Throughout the match. Maybe we got tired of blowing the whistle and giving out yellow cards. I'm not sure. Actually, just kidding. Coker here taking out. Or actually giving the yellow card for taking out La Mateo there as we saw. This is a great turn. Great touch there from the captain. But, you know, that's just unfortunate. And here, just to cap it off, QPR. Poulter. Had a match. Got the brace. Sure, somewhere in the virtual world, Mr. Icy Reaper 31 is giggling, giggling like a little girl because his QPR team beat my beloved Fulham. What a beautiful little cross that is, and Poulter just completely unmarked. That's the beautiful thing, I think, about Pass 17 is that you're going to see some really nice goals, and especially from the perspective of Mateo there. They look nice, except... It'd be nice if he could hit a shot there. And you can see he had no shots. That was, doesn't even count on shots since it's after the whistle. Go figure. But overall, guys, this is the end of episode number two. I really wanted to thank you guys for, for watching this one. Going to get this more consistent. Like I said, I got, I can't stop playing this mode. It's so much fun. 
So I'll definitely, um, you know, be able to get some more matches in. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see two, three matches, four matches, etc. Um, you know, I definitely can get that going because these are easy matches to record and get going um, and, you know, upload pretty simply. So we we'll look at the league table real quick. Fulham there finishing in 13th uh, for this episode. Not anything significant. You know, Mateo just wanted to get to get into form, score more goals like he did, and definitely, you know, the attacking midfield role may not be for him. I'm going to see if the coach can let him play in the striker role, kind of what he's used to. You know, he's not getting any younger, and that would probably be the best role for him. But anyway, guys, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comments below. Till then, take care and stay tuned. The yellow card match the shoes. Kieran Freeman, eighth minute. Just, uh, yeah, just didn't seem like he wanted to go for the pace. 